know, it all started with a tweet from my boy, yo boy, that boy, the Black Cobra, man. And all he's saying is, I saw a lot of zones, a lot of double teams and switches last night. I should pass more, but I work on these, man. Hey, listen, man, this is all he's doing is showing you, listen, this is me, a guy who does the game, plays the game the way that I want to, do what I want to, hoop like I want to. I don't have to be like everybody else. I can be unapologetically myself. This is the way that I like to play the game. This is the way I enjoy expressing myself in the game. And hey, I don't understand why we can't just let people do that, man. Do your thing, shawty. Do your thing. That's what I like to see, man. I like to see stuff like that. We need more stuff like this in the community. People that are that are not afraid to be themselves, do what they want to do. Play this game like dime work players. You know the same thing, a lot of step backs, a lot of this and that. But inevitably, anytime you do something like that, everybody has to come in with their two cents. And we're going to talk about all that, man, in one second. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video, comment y'all thoughts down below, man. Y'all already know what we're trying to do with this thing, man. We're trying to get out here and get into this young algorithm. And like I said, man, nobody told y'all this today, man. Hey, listen, y'all probably been wondering where I am. I was on vacation. I was on a cruise ship for a little minute. I was doing a lot of stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? We moved. We got a whole new house, new house tour, new house stream, all this stuff coming soon, man. We got all of that stuff coming for y'all, man. But look, this is what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about that boy, Black Cobra, and how he's hooping, man. Look, I get it. I get it that anytime anybody in the 2K community does anything, the first thing that somebody's going to do is come through and be like, man, I'll box that like that's literally what everybody is going to do. They're gonna say, <laughs> man, this, this, you ain't doing that. Or, or how we say, <laughs> how you doing, man? It's not that good, you know? It's, it's not gonna work in this situation. It's not gonna work in that situation. It's not gonna do this. It's not gonna shut the f up. Shut the f up, bro. Don't y'all, y'all the same people that say when Steezo does this or Steezo do that, it's not gonna work. It wouldn't work here, it wouldn't work there. Steezo and Batman, them, they all with dope swag in the first year, they almost won the, the $250,000 Steezo play comp. He does all of that. We know that that the things that Steezo does is for show. And, and to some degree, we know that Black Cobra is putting on a show. Listen, just because he's doing things that Y'all feel like, oh, that's easily stoppable. That doesn't mean that he doesn't have moves that you can't stop. Because a lot of people out there that play this game, their idea of playing the game and being good is just doing a move that cannot be stopped. Regardless of, I'm sitting on this move that you're doing. You're going to come straight at me. I'm sitting right here, and I still can't stop it because you're going to Westbrook, Westbrook, Westbrook through me, left, right, left, right, whatever, whatever. That's what y'all going to do. But... Somebody like him where he's literally reading the situation and going, we can't respect that, man. Check this out right here. This is what I want to show y'all right here. He dropped this this morning and he dropping knowledge on this. He breaking down what he's seen and all of that. Literally reading the situation, not just doing the same move over regardless of who's there because you know it can't be stopped. He said, look, perfect example of what I meant. MJ, Kobe, uh, King. I, I thought maybe he's trying to say Kareem. I'm not sure, but he's saying, look, did this all the time. I mean, did this all the time. Oh, he's talking about Hakeem. Did this all the time playing, playing, uh, playing the hip and initiating contact is a no-go. It's just basketball. Let's just listen to what my young man got to say, man. Okay, this is a perfect example, and hopefully I explain this in a way that's easy to understand. So this is why initiating contact when I'm in the post and when I'm in a triple threat is not a good idea. Because if you initiate contact, I'm going to power back down. And if your strength is not high enough, you're going to get moved. And if I move you like that, nine out of ten times, I'm going to hit you with a shimmy fade. And what the shimmy fade does with Hall of Fame Dream Shake, it leaves you stunned like this. And if you find yourself in that position, you have to jump. You have to stunned like this. Right look and if you look find... At look at this. Look at this right here, man. Look at the amount of space between them. You telling me he couldn't take that shot and close out like that, and he's also explaining to you how he's able to do that because he got dream shake. You know what I'm saying? He got dream shake on, and uh, it freezes you so you can't close out. So everybody's saying that they would do this and do that. It's probably not going to work. In position, you have to jump. You ha you, you don't have a choice but to jump. That's that's going to be a hill you're just going to have to die on. 
There's no, there's nothing else you can do at that point but jump. You already saw how much space was created out of the shimmy fade, so I could have just shot it and it would have still been wide open, but I didn't shoot it. And because he had to jump, the step through shot is wide open. It will 100% of the time, if you jump at a fade from that far out, the step through shot, 100% of the time, if nobody helps, it's going to be wide open. That's it right there. And that's him breaking down the game, telling you what it's going to be. It's going to be wide open. Understanding, y'all, what it is that he's doing, how he's doing, how he's reading the game and understanding doing a move and a counter move and using what you're doing to choose what he's going to do next not just westbrook 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 because it cannot be stopped and it skirts you through somebody's chest and you can't like like i don't, I don't understand it man listen man you might not like it you might not think it's gonna work in comfort you ain't got no choice but to respect it it is what it is and, and, and instead of people trying to be like oh this is comp this is not comp instead of people being like it's comp it's not comp it's not comp it's not comp instead of people doing that just play the game let him enjoy we should be happy that there are lanes for people to be able to take in this game you understand what i'm saying that that you can take that approach and still get your get you know get your um recognition up and get and you know what i'm saying build a fan base like not everybody has to do the same thing to build a fan base like people be like they i don't know man it's just like with 2k we want everybody to do the exact same thing but then we want to call for variety we want 2k to make all these different ways for us to be variety to have variety just so we can choose the same thing and do the exact same thing everybody's doing hey man he, the, the, you know what i'm saying the cat doing something different he's playing different he's he's uh, doing what he wants to do, playing the game the way that he wants to play it. I don't understand why we can't respect that. But you know, we got to get in these comments, man. So one dude says it's not comp because any good, it's not comp because any good defender would uh would welcome you taking these shots. Easy, easy stops every time. With that being said, it's stuff that you can it's stuff that you can pull out in a comp game here or there. But simply to play a full game like this is not realistic. Uh, you know, all love with it though, and that's what I'm saying though, y'all. When they be talking about comp. They're not talking about what's actually good. And comp and IQ is not what they say is what's good, what's I'm reading the defense and countering the defense and doing that. It's just what what can I do every single time? And it's going to work regardless of what the defense does. That's what they want to do. They're trying to find that. He said, I hear I hear that a lot. But what defense in this case genuinely, you know, will work? I'm genuinely curious. And so <laughs> next G, I guess this is what he's talking about. Said so not realistic. So this one person say not realistic to the game itself. It's just it's it's uh is this the realism that he's lacking? Look at this dude just going back and forth. That's all they do is spamming. But he actually had a good answer, so I ain't gonna I ain't gonna hate on it. Uh, you know too much. Dude said as soon as you post up, you'll probably get blitz. Uh, and also someone with the high perimeter defense. You know they'll be they'll be able to get a better contest. I wouldn't say that with a better uh off high perimeter defense. Probably gonna be a uh, post defense because he's in the post. Uh, he's doing it on the guard and he's actually looking at what what he's doing. He says he said that's all 100% true. It takes discipline defensively. He says you you uh you can never leave your feet to contest unless you're sure I'm shooting. And he says even then, depending on the type of shot or the animate, I mean the shot separation and all of that. Uh, the challenge challenger badge doesn't activate in those close to mid range area uh, or what have you. So he's just saying, you know, it, it does seem like that, but you know, you will see. It, it seems like that, and I hear that a lot. But you know, it's a lot of stuff, and I know a lot of people. They always say, um, they always say, you know, you can't do this, you can't do that. But one thing I will say is, bro, we see people post fade all the time, and if you know what you're doing and you know how to play in that post area, you can not only get your shot off. You can hit contested shots. That's why centers get mad when they see other people playing the game and then they be like, damn, man, you just going to mid-range fade all game? Yeah, that's the, he can post up and he can do that. And if you don't have the right defense and you're not playing discipline, it's going to happen. He's just doing it from a guard perspective. But, hey, it is what it is. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. You know, I already know that everybody, ah, ah, I'm going to box that shit. I'm going to box that shit. Like, we already know that's what most people going to say, man. It is what it is. I understand. I, I truly do. But... I feel like my big, the bigger, the bigger thing is that you can play the game how you want to. You can be successful playing the game how you want to. You don't have to conform to what anybody says. And not only that, but at the same time, 
you can build a fan base off of it because there's people in the comments going in, you know, just telling, hey, man, you know, somebody keep doing what you're doing. We love what you're doing and all of that stuff, man. I think it's to some point, to some degree, it's just jealousy. People saying, dang, I'm, I'm in the league or I'm comfortable, I'm this and that, or I feel like all this and that, and I'm not getting half of the, I'm not getting half of the, notoriety that this young man is getting because he built his own fan base and did it his own way. That's all I can say, man. Like I said, I rock with, I rock with Cobra, man. Like I said, friendly neighborhood, old head. I rock with Cobra and uh, you know, it is what it is, but I get, I get what y'all saying. Like you supposed to, what, like, what you supposed to say? You supposed to say I box this shit. Like that's what you're supposed to say. And then when you get dropped off by it, then it just is what it is. We'll just say, he's, you're just gonna say he's just cheesing and that's what everybody gonna go. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. I'm gonna holler at y'all next time till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Gosh,